Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. I know I'm late with videos. I've been busy helping my daughter at the cabin. There's so many times I say, let me record this and then I get so overwhelmed and tired and I just end up not doing it. So I do want to apologize for that. But I'm going to show you today, we're going to do another make do at the cabin videos. And we came up for a day, a day and a half, and then we're heading back to the city. So we really didn't bring a lot of stuff. And one of the things we are missing is our sprouted bread. So we're not having anything to do with like a toast this morning. So we decided, or Erica decided, if I would make her some oat fritters. And I did want to add some protein to it. So I have here, I'd say about maybe a cup and a half to two cups of oats. And I have a block of soft tofu that I, here I'll show you the pack that I'm using. It is this one. So I'm going to squish this in. Instead of using water, this is going to be my liquid. And what a morning. It is so beautiful up here. The first thing we did was before we start any type of work, uh, we decided to go for a kayak out at the lake and kayaking is new to me so Erica's breaking me in slowly she did get two kayaks sorry notice a big band-aid underneath my glove I hurt my finger working at the cabin <laughs> ay, ay, ay. anyhow I just pulled a nerve or something and by keeping it straight it doesn't hurt as much okay so here we are we have the oats and I squished in one of the tofu blocks and now you want to look at this and you want to see how pasty is it you want this a little firmer than this so I'm gonna add extra oats remember when you see me make recipes really there is no recipes I pretty much eyeball it or I create something so bear with me and just jot it down on paper as you watch the video it's going to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put a little extra oats. And I dirtied her jar. Hopefully I won't get one of those dry bags in here. You just want to make it a little firmer than softer. And those oats is going to absorb all the tofu. And this is going to give you a nice high protein fritter. We're going to make a fritter but we're really not going to fry them we're going to kind of pan fry them we're trying to go as healthy as we can so here we are it feels nice and firm maybe I might make it a little firmer but we'll see once I start adding other stuff to this so I am going to push this aside and last time we were here which isn't that long ago let me just get here we go I picked a whole bunch of dandelion. If you go check one of my videos, you'll see. So this is all washed. The only thing is that there might be a, gra a blade of grass or a butt end, which is not a problem. I am just going to clean that off quickly. And then we're going to chop it up. This is what you call a sweet and savory. That's it. Just check it. Now, this is basically a garden weed. You'll find it everywhere. It's just delicious, healthy dandelion. And I use the flowers, open or closed. We love them. It's a little bitter, but very medicinal, very good for us. It is a detoxifier. As you could tell, this one had a yellow flower, but the flower is still good. It hasn't gone white, so I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to chop that up, and we're going to mix it in there. So all I'm doing, like I said, this is washed. I pretty much threw it in the sink, and I washed it till there was no more dirt or loose debris. But as you could tell, there's always a blade of grass 
I'm sure, I hope I'm in camera. There's always a blade of bra grass that you're going to find in there. I just pick it before I do anything with it. But this stuff is really, really good for you. And if you don't like bitter, I say try it a little at a time. Your body will crave this, trust me. I make one of the most delicious salad with this just this nothing else I don't usually mix any other salads there's a little flower but here's a bigger flower that's gonna go in and that's it the rest we're gonna put it in compost but it is clean maybe I'll put one or two more So how are you guys enjoying the spring? It's still spring year. We are, what, June the 2nd, I think. And it's been crazy hot, even up here in the Laurentians. Have you guys decided what you're gonna do with the summer, or are you going away, are you staying home? We usually go backpacking or camping. And this is the first summer at the cabin, Erica's cabin, that she bought. Uh, actually, it was hers in the fall. So we never got to experience the summer year. And it is such a beautiful place. We decided that this year we might not do any camping. We might do camping in a forest. She has her other property she could camp in. Okay, so here we go. I think that's good. And we're gonna just chop it up as fine as we can. Just roll it in a, I'm not sure if you can see me there. Try and cut it as fine as you can. Sometimes I make it and sometimes I don't. Like I said, we make do over here. If we don't have a tool, we use our hands. But it always comes out good. That's the best part. Now, you don't have to put as much as I did. You could put less. You could even just put flowers. If you see beautiful yellow dandelion flowers and you don't want to do the greens, just take those flowers and throw them in your mixture yeah Erica said maybe we might rent a tree house for the kids just so they could experience that but we're not sure yet what we're doing but we're definitely gonna enjoy the cabin Okay, now to this, I need an onion. Erica, do you have an onion for me? I used up the one in the fridge. While she's doing that, I am gonna put a little bit of rosemary oil. This is sweet and savory, guys. Thank you, Erica. We're gonna put some salt. Again, all to taste, right? We're gonna put chilies. I'm gonna open it up on the other side because we like chilies. We like it hot. And we're gonna put some black pepper, lots of it, but you don't have to put as much as I do. And we're gonna chop up some onion. I'm going to take the top half of this onion that's already starting to sprout. I had a few of these at home and I just shoved them in the in the soil and now I've got brand new onions growing. So don't waste guys. If you see one that's sprouted, don't throw it out. part off. Okay. And again, I'm going to 
up your chopped or you can chop it up as small as you want. Well, basically you could put whatever you want when you're making these. I'm also going to add some tomato. Now you can use regular flour. But we forgot to bring up the flour. And so we're using, we made some yesterday and Erica loved them. She goes, Ma, can you make that again? Yesterday was a snack, today is going to be breakfast. Okay. Erica, can I have um, a tomato in the fridge? What are you guys going to be doing for the summer? Going away? Are you staying at home? Back on bills? Back on bills. Okay. Here's a tomato I had in the fridge. I'm going to chop some up. We'll see how much I want or need. Boop. We'll start off with two slices. So we want to try and do as much as we can and then go back to the lake, that's for sure. I haven't even really done much recording for my other channel. It's just, there's so much and then at last minute, Sometimes the camera's not charged. I'm not on top of things these days. Okay. Uh, what else do I want to put in? Well, we're going to try this for now. And we're going to use our hands. Keep mixing it. You could put as much or as little vegetable as you want. You don't have to put chicory. Why do I call it chicory all the time? Down the line, you can simply uh, use asparagus if you want, asparagus tips. You could use any vegetable you want. You could even use some delicious hostas. You know that hostas are edible. Hers got so big that we might just clean them around a little and put some in the freezer. Okay. Now just taste it for salt. Mm. These are going to be yummy. A little extra rosemary oil. You could even add herbs if you have. Okay. Mix these up. And they should be good. And this is going to be high in protein, guys. Very good for us. Okay. I'll put this aside. Okay. Not that clean, but that's okay. We have rosemary with cooked potatoes in here. Get it nice and high. And then we're going to lower the heat. Now you can use your hands and make patties. Let me just put a little drizzle of olive oil. Not olive oil. It is olive oil. But it's rosemary oil. And we do have a little bit of rosemary in the cast iron that is still there from the potatoes. Okay. And then we're going to put some maple on top and that's going to be our breakfast. Make do at the cabin, guys. So you get it as flat as you can. My hands are washed. Don't freak out. There we go. 
I'll take another one. Wet it. Right, let's lower the heat. what they look like. I would say just make a few, but trust me, you're going to love these. Love, love, love these. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Say we have to get a metal spatula and we always forget. You can even cook these on the barbecue if you have the grill open. They're really really good and it's a nice treat or a nice little snack food. Let's see. It's not so hot so maybe I could use this. To the side. Not the best spatula to use. There we go. We're gonna put one more on this end. Just make them nice and flat. And you don't have to use a lot of oil if you cook them at a lowish heat you don't even have to put any oil in your pan and if you have a very good non-stick you don't have to put any oil whatsoever you can air fry these if you have an air fry oven yeah we definitely need a metal spatula for the cast iron If you want to make them just a little firmer, you could put some flour mix in here or some chickpea flour if you want. We're okay with just the oats. They really are a delicious treat and a different type of breakfast. If you have any vegan sausages, you could chop those up in your, uh, in your mixture or just cook them on the side of your, your dish. You can make some, maybe some cowboy beans to serve on top or on the side. Very delicious and very simple and very cheap. Oats are very cheap. Uh, the dandelion green, nature gives it to you for free. I didn't even need a whole tomato. A little bit of onion if you want. If you don't like onions, you could put garlic, that's really up to you. But when it comes to breakfast, I prefer the onion over the garlic. So we're just going to keep cooking these, and then I'll show you how we're going to serve these. Alright guys, we're just going to take a few. And then, of course, more. this is more for presentation. I'm sure Erica's going to come, and she's going to take more. I'm sure she's going to take more. Okay, we're going to put a drizzle. delicious Canadian maple and since this is nature inspired a beautiful dandelion and 
these little flowers are a little bit of violets and because this is the season my friends we have a little bit of lilac flowers that are going to be delicious Well, Erica enjoys her food. Look at that. Very medicinal too, guys. One of these days I'm going to show you how to make medicine with the lilac. Here we go, guys. This is breakfast for a princess. And it's all done with some wild stuff that we picked outside. A little bit of oats, a little bit of tofu for protein, and delicious Canadian maple to drizzle on top. So I hope you like this video, and I hope you give this a try. And I want you to come back after you try it and tell me how you like it. And we're going to make Erica try this now. And tell you, Erica's going to try it and tell you, don't forget those little flowers. Oops. Oh my God. Good? <laughs> you know what? I love very my daughter. Good. No matter what, she always no, no. tells me how delicious it this is. This is very good. All right, guys. Give it a try. Come back and tell me what you think.